Check us out, all professional. I know, right? With, with proper microphones. It's only taken us a while. A £10 tripod, our mobile phones, <laughs> but at least we've sorted it out. Some half expensive. I'll take my slippers my, off as well. Yeah, that'd be a, nice a like good that. idea. Take that bit out because it's going to get me in trouble. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Let's go. What is up, YouTube? It's James from Robin Henry Watches. I know it's weird. My name isn't the name of the company. Funny that. You can stop asking. Is your me. name not Robin <laughs> or Henry? Well, it is kind of. Who who is Henry? Who is Henry? I'm Henry. Apparently so. No one calls you Robin. Uh, I get called Robin sometimes. Oh, sorry, no one calls you Henry even. No. I'm Maybe confused. we should change my name to sorry, that. I was getting confused. It's my middle name. So anyway, yeah. wristwatch check. I am wearing the Cartier. Tool two in white gold factory is that, set. Is that the one with the strap loaded? Yeah. One? So here's here's an interesting thing because I'm not as argumentative as you online. Um, <laughs> Me? You are super argumentative. Do you remember that time in lockdown when you argued with someone over Facebook? Oh, and it was I, great. And, and I was like, don't do it. Don't I loved do it. it. It was great. But you still did. I it. like to think I won. <laughs> you can't win. Anyway, to be fair, he came back and he's like, so I explained it. Because, yeah, what he was saying basically was, I got this guy, I did a real, and he's like, that's, you're not supposed to see this bar, you're just supposed to see the C. And I was like, he convinced me that, I didn't have the watch the with C me. The C bit has a bit of credence. But... Right. So, <clears throat> and I didn't have the watch with me at the time. And he, he was so convincing in his argument, making me like feel like a, such an idiot. I was like, maybe he's right. And I came back home and I was looking at it again. I was like, no, you why literally would, can't. Why would I thread that over that, loop it back down? I was like... He's thinking of this side. Yeah. Um, anyway, so he's came back. He's like, I got you. My Roadster. I don't want to belittle the Roadster, but the Roadster is not at all too. Um, is strapped over the bar. I've seen it both ways now. I've looked into it. Sorry for my confusion. <laughs> Was he confused? <laughs> Apology accepted. We all, we all make mistakes. We're, we're all good. Anyway, we're not talking about Cartier. Why would we talk about Cartier? Why are we talking about Cartier? I don't know. No, why would we? I don't know. <coughs> List, I mean, we, we do like no prep, but today is, is you it's took it a step else. too far. That you, I, I did. You figured this out like less than an hour ago. Allegedly have made I'm notes. I incompetent. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm sorry, okay. It's been a, a busy week. We've got lots going out. One of the biggest months I think we've seen in... Yeah, who knew? Like a long, long time. Like January for us was insane i was like where where did that come from get ready for a quiet period but mm. you know like the little squirrels we put some nuts <laughs> away um and then february started off really good then it had like a week where a week and a half i, I took a few days you off you were looking pretty depressed at one i point. was depressed i was like we're never going to sell anything in and anyone who's in sales like an entrepreneur sometimes you can get like that you're yeah. like oh it's never gonna happen i'm never gonna sell it's anything over. ever again and then it's like this week, I don't know how many watches we sold this week, but I don't know. Four? A lot for Three? us. I mean, we've been selling, selling one every day. And I know there's big dealers out there like, uh, I know some guys which do like five a day, but my business model has never been about that. It's, it's about quality over quantity. Mm. Um, but yeah, awesome. But anyway, what are we talking about? Oh, well, it's been a while since we've talked about the, the AD experience. So to speak, a lot's changed since. We Are we last talking about ADs but... in general or Rolex? Rolex. Okay. Every, every other AD is just Loses. walk in, buy a shop. I mean, buy a shop. Jesus, I, know. I am confused. How common you go in and they just have stuff and you buy it? <laughs> like, ugh, who wants that's, that? There's, there's only one AD that, that bears any need of talking about. It's definitely not the Amiga dealers. So it's the Rolex, the Billy Big Balls. Well, let's 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 cast our minds back a year, two years ago. You couldn't buy anything. Weren't even prices in the window. So we're talking about like in the middle of uh, yes Mars Attacks. <laughs> God, I haven't seen that film in a long time. One of the time. best films. Ever. I don't want to put it above Hot Tub Time Machine, but actually I've been thinking about Mars Attacks and it is right up there as one it's, of the best films ever made. It's pretty far up there, yeah, to be fair. You know, completely irrelevant to anything. But yeah, so yes. You couldn't buy anything, no prices in the windows. Nobody knew how anything was decided. Um, nobody really knew where it was going, and here we are now, burdened with knowledge. Well, un unverified, unsourced knowledge. But Things a lot are better. Of There's a lot of anecdotes, and when a lot of anecdotes start cropping up, patterns start emerging, corroboration starts to appear. So, 
Where You're, do we start? I don't know. You tell me. You've got the agenda. The agenda. I haven't got the agenda in front of me because my my computer is is <laughs> filming you right now. It's quite scary, really. Right, but don't be reading my messages. There could be all sorts in here. Oh my god, that's terrible. It is the five point plan to success. I mean, listen. Let's let's start it off with where are things now in terms of supply or how did we get here? I think obviously loads of things happened. We had obviously we had lockdowns, which obviously shut stores. Mm -hmm which did a few things demand went through the roof suddenly everyone had loads everyone's rich suddenly in the us they've got stimulus checks in the uk like obviously we spend most of our money on trying to escape uh, this horrible weather yep. that we're in i mean obviously we're not uk uk we're in the channel islands but still it really is a state. um you it costs a fortune so like no one's spending any money on travel uh, no one's really can spend money anyway um, so demand goes through the roof and people are also looking for other assets to put their money into um, during times of crisis. People go back to more like commodity investments like gold and yeah. other things. Um, then obviously all of the manufacturers, their supply network is just obliterated. They, they can't network anything out. To, the logistics is just done. Then all these other manufacturing issues come up because yeah. suddenly no one's going to work. Yeah. Um, then <coughs> to make things worse, it's not only just their people, you know, you can't get any materials. No. I, mean, I mean, whatever industry the worst one. you were in, if there was anything involving any part of manufacturing or supply, like everything just dries up. I mean, look at the problems that uh, we're not going to, we're not here to talk about Amiga, but they can't get their watches out, you know, six months to a year no. later. Um, even Cartier, we were talking the other day. The solar beat, I can't believe I sold it. And then they discontinue it. So whether the value shoots off on that, I don't know. And I never bought it for that. But anyway, so everyone's got supply issues through their whole chain of manufacture and supply. Um, so it's like the perfect storm of n l no supply. Demand goes through the roof. I mean, even Rolex is increasing their, their production. Yeah, that's and people some, for four, five and some years. people still say, well, they make a million. We're guessing here a million mm. watches. That's the jet. That's the consensus amount. That well, I'm sure Rolex I read the other day that they're, they're, this new facility they're building should up capacity by about forty percent. I think it was. That's... If they want to do that, yes. Um, but there's seven billion people on this planet. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, what's what's the mathematics of one one million divided by seven billion times one hundred? Get that percentage. What is it? Yeah, it's tiny. Exactly. Um. So, and you know, most of us that are into watches, we don't just buy one. No, no we're greedy. No. You know, it, it will never satisfy us. It's it's a never ending disease where it's it's mostly about the chase, the acquiring it, and when you've plundered the <laughs> AD and you go home with your spoils of war. <laughs> Oh, it's not enough. Next. So anyway, that's where we are. However, things do seem to have eased a little bit. Yeah. People are getting calls. I mean, people have always been getting calls. Yeah, but people who weren't getting calls are getting calls. Starting getting calls. That's been happening. So I, I don't really frequent the watch forums anymore, but I do occasionally check in on the Rolex forum. Yeah. Uh, oddly, it's quite american not there's anything wrong with that but it's just obviously uh, in the past i've been on tz uk um but they're saying that people or oh, people are getting more calls but then other people are piping up well it's been three years and no one's called me it's been 50, what were those chips that you sent what did you post at the oh other the day? challenge coins yeah that's just a thing some guy just decided to start making and selling it's so awesome. basically it's like coins that you get like from aaa but yeah. just um, three years on the waiting list, yeah. 10 years on the waiting list. But yeah, list. people are starting to get calls. Uh, they've modified things. So we still have exhibition models. Yeah. The I don't, prices are back now, though. Prices are back in the window. Um, I've still heard, uh, when I've been on the Rolex one, people still walking in and get watches. Yeah. I did it last yeah. year, last summer. I walked into an AD in Europe and... Got. I've seen plenty of anecdotes. On I mean, Reddit to be well. fair, it was an explorer, so it's not like top tier. Yeah, but not, not bad. Still, still sports watch. Even a lot less of the 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 bullshit of like, oh, you have to buy this to get that, and start with a date just, and then you can get the rest. Like, I've seen a lot of anecdotes lately of people having no purchase history and walking out with a Daytona, walking out with a GMT. Like, it's. It... I don't know how many of those are really true, but I mean, I get. I guess it happens. It must be in the obviously the small ones. I don't think that you know the high street multi branch businesses necessarily, mm. but you know the independent ads perhaps. So what has evolved is the. But I don't know if this is just so in our part of the world, which is you know Channel Islands, UK, 
um, the Orem Group. So you're talking Mappin and Webb. Who else have they got? Um, watches of Switzerland. Switzerland. Um, all of that. It's it, you're allowed three watches a year. Yeah. So you can register your interest and write out your. And that's been corroborated on a lot of anecdotes as well. Reddit very common as well. Yeah, well, obviously, we know people that have told us that, and it's not just come from one or two people, it's come mm-hmm. from most people that we know. Um, An AD in the UK told me that as well. Someone we know literally today just got the call, yeah. um, and they've got they've had one watch, um, but they've just had a call mm-hmm. um, for... Uh, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Um, it's respectable. It's not just the, the sh** date just exactly. offering, so, so to speak. Um, you know, it happens. Yeah. So... Things are easing up. There's this three watch model. I don't know what's ha- happening in other stores if or chains or whether they're restricting it yeah. like that. Because Rolex still maintains it's the ADs and the ADs still maintain it's Rolex. I think it is the ADs. Yeah. And listen, we, we had this discussion a while ago where I was like, I think a lot of the controls that, let's say, if we talk about mapping and web, or in group, watch, whatever you want to call it, I think that control is there just as much to manage customers as their own staff Mm. because if you get someone let's say right i apply for a job and i'm the manager of mapping and web locally Mm -hmm. right but i still got this business but i keep it quiet what's or let's say i've got a what a basic or a good knowledge of the watch market and that you can flip these things you're a car boot dealer before you know it you know yeah my mum's getting a daytona my dad's getting a daytona You're getting Daytonas, you're getting a Meteorite GMT, you're getting this, you're getting that, you're getting an olive, you and know. nobody else gets anything. Dark things. And then suddenly, you know, I'm, I'm paying them, you know, 500 quid on top, then I'm flogging that, making, suddenly, I'm making, I don't know, 10, 20 grand a month? Yeah. Like, you got to, it's the staff you got to watch as well. Not saying that the staff, but we know there are crocs. because they're actually really nice at mapping and web locally, yeah, they but are. they're a good bunch. So I'm not saying that, but I'm saying you put a wrong in in there. Mm-hmm. Not saying that I'm a wrong in, but no. you know, they got to they got to manage it. And it's got to be, and that's why they've got to have. They can't just have their name. It's like no, we're going to need their name. We're going to need to know their address. Mm-hmm. We need to know details about them because otherwise, staff are just going to be like. Oh yeah, it's my mate um, Billy Big Balls. Uh, he, he, right? Your favourite, yeah, right? <laughs> Is he in prison right now? He's he's buying this. <laughs> he's buying that, and then they, that's why they need that. I think that's why they need that depth of detail. Yeah, I, I think don't right. think it's just the ads like, oh, let's put them through this, and we're going to make them do this and that. There's probably some element because they want to control, you know, making sure they're not selling to flippers. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, so that's there to stay, I think. Yeah, I think and also so. now you think about the data that they hold on their customers yeah. and, and how much of that gets fed back to Rolex. I'd be very surprised if any, other than what they want. Um, and especially, I wouldn't be surprised if there was literally just a list of quantities that goes to the Rolex distribution, whatever it is, that just says, go and see so-and-so, there's this many of this, maybe, this I guess many they this, can this, get this, it this. Because obviously, like, we know, like, locally, they have on your profile exactly what you've had and when you've had it. Yeah. Because like they quite often, what I've heard from people that I know, when they go in there, they question them on stuff, and they're like, "That's quite common practice." And then they start, they well. start sweating, and they're like, "Oh God, what was that? I've sold it. I can't remember. I can't remember." Right? Guess. Uh, yeah, it was on the. It was. It was on the Jubilee. They're like, "Oyster, <laughs> you motherfucker. Where's that watch? Where is it? Um, Show me." I haven't heard recently though of anyone getting the um the, the recall back of like we need you to bring your watching because we did hear yeah. that during the covid year although we... i think this extra control is reducing that because the, this is the interesting point you were talking about the three watch model so it seems to be there's three clubs and where you've got wrong ends in the business there's the third club which is the you're in and you get stuff every single week but for the majority of people now it's the three watch Do you model. think anyone's getting stuff that often? I mean, we've heard of people that, we heard that there might have been some sort of restriction on you can have like a premium piece and a Yeah, so you could get piece. like one date just and two major sports models <laughs> as an example. But I think that three watch model now is restricting all the people who were getting them regularly. So they're more careful about what they do. So more people are getting them anyway, there's less to audit. Mm. I think that's probably what it is, but. And it's interesting, you know, the market's come down, as we all know from last year. From where I'm seeing things, it seems to have stabilised late November, December, January, February. It's been all pretty much the same. There's, a, there's been a few little increases which have surprised yeah. me. As I predicted 
a while back in whatever video it was where I was talking at length that some of the precious metals, so like white gold uh, submariners, yellow gold submariners, um, some of the day dates, they're all below retail. You can get them either at retail. Or certain, the day dates at the moment seem to me to be about just under retail mm. um, and you can get the subs under retail. But some things have stabilized like, you know, Starbucks, which were about 15K, uh, but then ballooned up over 20 and then they've come back down. You can get a brand new one for 14, so they're a bit lower than where they were. But I mean, still, uh, still well, multiples I, I, of the retail. I think that's probably helped reduce the flipping as well, which in turn has meant they've had to audit less again because there's less yeah, taste. Yeah, it's, it's all, and there's more chance that, you know, there's better prices coming from dealers, but there's still a lot of dealers which are oddly holding at the old price. They obviously got left holding the bag and they don't want to give up. No. It's like, Dude, I, I it's don't. Because they see a little way. spike in the price, and they're like, oh, that could that could blow up again. I think what I would like to see in an ideal world is it can just stay where it is, because it's it's easy to do business things. Yeah. You know what you're paying and what you're selling, and it's a bit it's not sensible. You know the crazy numbers have come down on Rolex models. They're still so it's still expensive. I mean, you want to buy a a Panda Daytona? Well, you know it's two and a half maybe three times its retail. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get the black one now for about 22 grand. Uh, that's still, you know, double retail. Obviously we're talking Guernsey prices here. So if you're in England, like what the fuck's this guy on? Exactly. Why are they so cheap? Um, so that's been interesting to see. Um, you know, Submariners are still late 10s, 11, 12s, mm -hmm. um, which is still a lot of money. What's the retail? I don't know, six, seven. Yeah. So, yeah. I suppose the final point really is people want to actually legitimately get their watches because that's what we support yeah listen Best i advice, mean it, if, you, if you, a lot of people get it wrong i think you know if you what i always say is even if you're good even if you want the watch straight away and you can't kind of go to a gray market or pre-owned dealer i would always still say put your name down yeah um how do you go about getting it i, I mean how i when i was just a watch collector um Listen, I'm not talking about sucking up to people because that's just a contact. joke. But stay in contact. Um, let them know that you're an enthusiast and you're not a, a rabid, you know, flipper out to make a quick buck. Um, and be polite when you deal with them. Because I've heard of people being, uh, I've heard this from people that I've spoken to saying that they've been rude to people there, which I find bizarre. Uh, and I've it's also not heard... Necessary. It's not necessary. It's their fault. Yeah, I mean, I think, their job, I think their job is very difficult and it's quite awful. Uh, It'd be like, hello, um, yeah, I've got nothing for you. And they're like, well, I've got a million pounds. It'd be like, yeah, and I've got three three penises. Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know. So but uncalled for. It's just, it's not their fault that it is what it is. You know, Ro yeah. if anyone can be blamed, it's Rolex. Yeah. I don't believe that Rolex are deliberately limiting supply, but they, they have an influence on it and they know what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, you know, so the, the wild stories, when you know when Rolex put out that statement. Um, yeah. A couple of years ago. Uh, and they're like, we're not restricting supply, it's just demands that big. I think that was genuine. Yeah. Why are they going to lie about it? Um, well, they'll get found out pretty But quick. I do think that when, let's say of that million pound, uh, sorry, million watches a year, you know, they... they Rolex with their one million pound turnover. <laughs> <laughs> that one million watches a year, you know, maybe like... I don't know, 20% is steel sports watches, 40% is date just, they're yeah. like, fuck you, <laughs> I don't know. Some of that. Right? Uh, so yeah, that's probably where they control it, because mm. you know, if they just suddenly said, you know what, we're gonna make 80% just steel sports watches, the market gets flooded, the brand value collapses. Yeah. Um, you that's know, thing, suddenly I... it's it's Omega and long jeans, right? Uh, it's not a great place to, to take your business, so yeah. I, I get it. Um, but I think, yeah, just, you know, reach out to an AD, um, do business with them, just be genuine, don't be a dick. Yeah. Um, and just, just, yeah, keep in contact. But just let them know you're serious as well. Yeah. Um, I read an interesting um, couple of, again, it's anecdotal, but it seemed fairly genuine and other people seem to be corroborating it. Say it people just obviously anonymously posting, like, I am an AD, this is what really happens. And what they were saying is that if you are basically a low-level sales assistant, you know, just a, a general assistant, so to speak, no actual management, you can put people forward. So something comes in, mm. each assistant can put forward like one person and be like, I think it should be this person, this person says so this, and then the manager then decides who that gets Yeah, yeah. so to. interestingly, 
<laughs> I do, I do. So years ago, I don't know if you were in this meeting, right? Okay. This was when I was uh, just a collector, nothing else. In the middle of a like management meeting, I get the call. Oh. I got the call and I got the first GMT Pepsi on Jubilee that came into the island. So I get the call in the meeting from a guy there, which I've been buying from. Uh, we had a good relationship. I've been buying from him for, I don't know, maybe only just like two years because he was new into the island. Mm. So, and he said that, that that was even back then because this was, oh God, when has it come out? 2016, 2017? I don't know. Whatever year it was. Maybe it was 2018. Yeah. I know people are going to be like, you should know when the Pepsi came out. So I don't know. Do you have no idea how many, how watches, many watches I bought. How many watches actually launch? Uh, I mean, yes. I've had hundreds of watches. But anyway, uh, so I get the call and he's like, it's the first one we've got. I thought of you and I put you forwards to get it. And I'm just there like, I've got it, I've got it. I'm just there like, I'll be there within the hour. I was just like this, bitches, I'm out. <laughs> I'm leaving, <laughs> screw work. Dash down there, buy the watch. Um, and to be fair to me, before I'm gonna get flamed, I wore the watch and I enjoyed it. Um, until he didn't. Until I didn't. In my defense, I bought a house. Oh, that was that one. And that's, that was the end. Do you know what annoyed me though? So I got, I got eventually, I got banned. To be fair to them, still after that, they still sold me. Lucky me. I still got sold date just. Lucky you. Um, listen, that's cool. I get it. They don't, especially now I'm in the industry, they, you know, uh, they don't want to be getting in trouble. So I completely yeah. respect that. Um, but what annoyed me about it was before I knew I was banned, right? So I take my parents in there, it's their wedding anniversary. My dad buys my mum a uh, Takoya, a Carrera diamond set. Nice. Um, or is it the F1? I don't know what they call it. Anyway. Yeah. So the same guy serves, serves us playing like we're best friends. Mm. I see a two-tone Daytona in it. Because you have to remember, at this point, you bought watches out the window. Yeah. So if it's there, it's available. Mm -hmm. Don't have to get the call. Unless it's like, let's say if it's like a steel Daytona, they, of course they don't have it, you go on the list. At this time, you have to remember, if it was in the window, whoever wants it first. Yeah. So I say, I'll tell you what, I like that, I'll come back for it. Um, so, you know, next day I call them like, you're right. Um, but, and then basically it's like, yeah, well I can't sell you watches anymore uh, because uh, we know that you sold your watch. Um, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, but I bought a house. And also, do you not think it's odd that someone that works an okay job has spent quarter of a million pound on watches? Yeah, it's quite difficult. Right? Because if you're going to spend that volume in a couple of years, mm -hmm. and also what I'll also say before, you know, I get flamed, flamed <laughs> is that I wasn't buying and selling for a profit. No. I lost money on a Rolex of Mariner Hulk. Depressing. I lost money on Deep Seas. I lost them didn't on Submariners. Did you get a discount on the Hulk? No. What was it you got a discount on? Christmas? My yellow gold GMT. No, I bought the Hulk on Christmas Eve, uh, but I didn't get a discount. Um, I bet you lost money on the GMT as well. Yes. Yes. I lost like two grand. Yeah. I was like, you lost money on something that you bought discounted. But, you know, they don't take that into account it's no. like well I've, I've lost something don't get me wrong the rolex losses weren't as bad as the amiga losses the zenith losses the blunt pun losses the bramont losses well, that's right because you can still buy me can't you well <laughs> not not locally <laughs> not locally but anywhere else i can buy them at significant <laughs> discount so don't ever pay retail on amiga but yeah i mean i've got no beef with it does it bother i mean i've had I don't want to say I've had every Rolex because that's just ridiculous. Of course I haven't, but I've had a lot of them. Mm. And if you're you talking... at least have one of every model. Yes. Baseline I think model. the only thing that I've never had is a Pearlmaster. Do you really want a Pearlmaster? No, I do not. Anyway, this was supposed to be like a quick fire 10 minute video. It was. Um, and but we'll have I got news for you? What's that? Obviously, this is a test. These mics might not even work. It might sound terrible. So I've got that to look forward to when I press the stop button. I'm sure it'll be fine. It better be. Yes, it better. Because I don't want to do it again. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> um, when is this coming out? I think I'm away when this is coming out. No, Probably. I'm not. 
Oh, it might be all the week after. I don't know. Preferably the week after. That would be nice. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> cool. Uh, check out stuff in the shop. Uh, RobinHenryWatches.com. There might be nothing by the time. There might be nothing with the rate of sale. We drop watches every Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.